guys welcome to a new video today is monday june 19th but we have a spd day today about to get ready to get in here and get started this is week three to block so we are just under 11 weeks out from competing uh, we have a top triple at a rp of six and we have some bench uh volume and paul's delf so today should be a good session, nothing crazy. Just get, just get in, working, and yeah, that's really about it. It's a hot one. Today is like, it's hot. It's really hot. Right now it says it's uh, 99 degrees, so, but in Corrupted, it's probably like, probably 115 in there, so. About to get in here and get started, and yeah. Sweat my life away. my first time touching with 200 pounds in like four or five months. Um, so, I'm gonna see how this moves for uh, today's triple. Hopefully I can do it. Uh, if I don't got it, I'm probably just re it, but I'm about to get my mind right. And So just finished up that session. Overall, great session. Um, you know, we hit a top set of squats with 705. So that means we're moving back in the right direction as form as squat strength. Um, back downs, we did a two by four with 620, 622, I think, uh, 282 and a half kg. Then I backed it down again to 595 for another set of four. Um, then I finish squats off there. Bench was a three by seven with 375 pounds. I just kind of jumped in with the guys since they were already benching and joined them and got that in. Then moved on to Paul's deadlifts. Uh, hit a top single with 848 pounds, which is I'm trying to think of the kilos, 385? I think 385 uh, kg. But overall, you know, let's say great session. Uh, then recording my back off work or um, uh, accessory movements. Because, 
I'm right now I'm in a rush. I'm going to go get a haircut because your boy is looking rough. So I'm going to clean all this up and get a fresh cut. So I'm about to go do that now. And yeah, I got two protein shakes with me. I'm going to down these while I drive over here. So yeah. <laughs> Today is another hot one in Houston, Texas. Today is Thursday, heavy conventional today. Um, it's about, it's one o'clock right now, 1.20. I'm, I'm low key late. I told Izzy I was gonna be there at 1.15, um, but I'm on my way to the gym now. Uh, got my pre mixed up. We have heavy deaths today. We have a top set of four at RP like seven to eight. Uh, last week we did 848. I believe that's three, 385 kilos. So today I want to go 395, maybe. We'll see. My back low key hurts a little bit, but we'll see. I hope so. Um, today's workout is fueled by hate I don't hate anyone personally I hate I, I hate I strongly dislike people who talk shit I really do there was a strong man uh, I don't know his name um, just wanted to make content talking about my 500k 500 kg sumo deadlift and call it a gay pussy lift uh, not a real deadlift it don't really offend me but it's like, bro, like you're supposed to be the world's strongest man. You have a, a deadlift and suit and straps and you're talking shit about sumo and you can't pull more than me conventional. Let me make that make sense, please. Uh, make it make sense. If you pull more than me conventional, you can say whatever you want. I don't care. But to talk down about a lift when my other lift is still stronger than yours, it's crazy. It's crazy. Then it comes with the excuse that oh, I have to train for other events. I have to do all this other stuff. I promise you, if you could train for Delif only, you still wouldn't beat me. Excuses. But I digress. Time to do this workout. You know, keep doing what I'm doing and, you know, be successful. Lift all this weight, set new standards, and yeah, today's gonna be a good thing. Speaking into the system. All week has been like unbearable heat. I think the rain last night made it a little bit cooler, so. And as much this airflow today. For the one time. But I mean, even like that depends on another day, but I didn't feel like the, the, the air was like leaving. It was staying, like it was it's solid. <laughs> I'll let him work in with me. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm benching this later, but I need this. I'm gonna let him get to his top, then I'll start warming up. <laughs> That's crazy. What a 390 in playing. What's 390? 855? 
Uh, I did 848 last week, right? Crazy how that work, ain't it? 390, 395. It's 395. So just finished up my top set, as you can see, I hit 395 or 7.4, got like an RP of, what do you say it would be? Seven and a half, eight. We'll call it seven and a half, eight. Um, we feel about hate today, like I told you guys. Like, I hate when, uh, like I said, I hate the mentality when people try to tear you down to build themselves up, when in reality, like, it doesn't help them at all. Like, like you talking shit about me, is it gonna make you stronger? It's not gonna make you a better lifter, a better person. Like, you look like shit doing that. Sorry for cussing, but the significance behind that number was just to outdo the old dude. He struggled with like 390. So, but like he didn't even get 390. <laughs> so, to be able to come here and do 395 for a set of four, conventional, no suit, no hitching, no, no, no baby powder. Just in just, here. Just vibes. Just working out. Just working out. Ah. It's a good day. It's a good day. Nothing, less, nothing else to be said. I, I mean, I do the work. The numbers speak for themselves. So, we have back downs and etc. So, in order how to get a big deal of this, do your back down work. Um, a lot of people think lifting these big top sets, whatever, is going to make your deal better. But nah, that's not it. Bread and butter comes in like the back down work and the volume. Like to get stronger is basically it's just progressive overload, right? So progressive overload is work over time. I, I think that's what it is. Something like that. It's like so it's like when it comes to training, it's working sets, the weight lifted, the volume of that set. So right in a week span, you may do thirty thousand pounds of belly volume, and each week you want to increase that number by either speed of the reps, like the quality of the reps, or uh, volume, right? So increase that volume of the reps, you need to go up in weight. So going up in weight is doing your back off work. That's like I have right now, I have a four by four with 700 pounds. A four by four with 700. So that's 16 times seven. I can't do the math in my head right now, but just know that's a lot of volume. But yeah, so you need to increase the volume every week um the top set is just stimulus to kind of you know best of both worlds where you can like test your top end strength for the day but then the volume work is where you get stronger at so do your back off So, as I just stated, doing your back off work is essential to building a big deadlift. Because at the end of the day, you gotta do the work to get like what you want out of it, you know what I'm saying? If you're not working toward what you want, you're not gonna get it. Now, I already told you guys that, like I talked about that earlier in this video, like always show up for you. Like if you're not showing up for you, you can't just expect shit just to happen for you. So it's like, you wanna be better at deadlifting? Work at it, learn it, simple. So. Next thing is learning how to brace. A lot of people think they're bracing by tightening their belt and just, you know, like, think they're like just, just doing whatever. But learning how to brace properly is gonna make your deadlift that much better. And you can brace with everything, you know. You can brace taking the shit. You can brace, you know, get some food out of the kitchen. You can brace, well, you should be bracing deadlifting. You can brace walking to the car, just, just focus on it. All right, and the last thing, well, not last thing. Next thing is re-racking your weight. So, 
I'm about to re-rack my weights. All right, guys, that's really about it. Um, a lot of people want like the shortcut of getting stronger and building like a huge deadlift, but all it really is is just putting in the work. Like I've been telling people, I've been training and working out since I was 12 years old, and I've always been in the weight room working out. Like I don't think in a year span I've missed more than 30 days of being in the gym collectively. Like it was just crazy to think about since I was like 12. Like I've I've always worked out so. Yeah, just being, you know, consistent about everything that you do, um, doing everything that's possible to be the best you possible. Isn't that right, Weez? What up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. Today, we're going to be deadlifting 881 pounds for a set of 10. Uh, you know, training's been going pretty good recently. Um, I've been getting my meals in, you know, just been hanging out around the crib, playing 2K, you know, <laughs> shit like that. But um, I'm feeling good going into the session. Rondell just had my block this morning, you know. Uh, we're going to get after it, see what we got. That's it. But well, we're telling right? If you don't put the work in, how do you expect to get better, right? Yeah, absolutely, 100%. It's, it's that simple. It's yeah. really that simple. If I you like don't, it. if you don't put in the work, don't even think about getting better. Like that's that's really it. If you're not doing what you need to do in the gym and out of the gym each day, in and out, don't even try. In my opinion, don't even waste your time. You heard from Weez, the man himself. Like, put in the work if you want to be better. If you if you don't put in the work, you can't expect just to be great overnight. Like, no amount of drugs or whatever. It's gonna make you that much better. Like you have to put in the work and be consistent about everything that you do. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it's like vlog slash informational slash motivational slash I don't know <laughs> whatever. But uh, gonna be more consistent about this. Uh, hopefully, I'm trying to get some videos lined up for you guys with my nutrition coach. Um, just the timing aspect and a lot of stuff going on this weekend. Uh, but once we get everything squared away, we're gonna be pumping out maybe the goal is two a week. But right now we, we're doing one a week. So. Trust the process, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, come subscribe. Peace.